Hi, I'm Matt. I'm the AI sales technician here at Avalites at our headquarters in London. And today we're going to be going over some things that you might need to know before you get started with a show with AI. So when using AI, it's important that your Windows OS is configured properly. Some of those things might be displays or network settings. So one thing always worth checking is if you right click on the desktop, Windows Display Settings, is that all of your displays are in the correct order. If you're using some of our bigger servers like the R8 or the RX8, uh, it's important to see that all of these are running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left to right. And they should all have the same horizontal starting position. So everything should be in a line at x equals zero position. Another thing, is if you click on a display, you want to make sure that it's running at the right refresh rate. When the edit of a monitor comes into Windows, it can have a couple different settings. So if I go in here, click my display adapter properties, and have a look at the refresh rate. So I want to make sure that I'm using 60 on every single one of my displays, and this is just a way to prevent screen tearing. So I'm just checking that, that's okay. Check that. And you can do it from list all modes as well. 60 hertz, great. So all my displays are in order and they're all running at the same refresh rate. The other thing we wanna check before we start AI is the network settings. So in the bottom right hand corner, you've got network. So I've got a network plugged in. You can see it there, we can change the adapter options and you'll see one is connected and one of the network ports is disconnected. So if we go ahead and double click on that and click properties, IP, uh, internet protocol version four, and we want a static IP address for the AI server. And here I'm using a 10 dot range for my ArtNet system. So when I set it on the desk, but if you're using a lighting desk to control the AI server, you want to have the same IP range and the same subnet. So this looks fine to me. Uh, if you are on obtain IP address automatically, that will be whatever IP address your switch assigns to your system. So typically, we just want something like that, 10. Let's go 0, 0, 15. Great, OK, close. And now we're ready to get AI started. At this point as well, if you have any MIDI devices that you want to use, you want to plug those in, just because as soon as you start AI, it likes to have all the devices connected. So we can go ahead and double click the icon there. And now we have all of our displays configured correctly. We can go ahead and check our IP address that is set correctly by going into bottom right hand corner file system setup and we can see that there that it's seen that so yeah just a couple of tips and tricks if you're getting started with AI and some configuration before you actually launch the program thanks for watching guys if you'd like to learn more about the software please check out our other videos and I'll see you soon